Welcome back to realvacantland.com. Got another property. This one is in Clark County, Arkansas for 3000 bucks, And uh, it looks like you can drive right up to it. Let's take a closer look. Looks like the taxes are about $14 a year. And uh, I got GPS coordinates on the website. So if you click the link below in the description box, it'll take you to the website. And you can, uh, you can do this too. You can click on the link and get some maps and zoom in, zoom out, and see if you like it or not. Let's uh, back out and then back in. Well, haha, that's way out there. Okay, there we go. Did I lose it? Here it comes. So we're in Arkansas. This is southern Arkansas. This looks like tree country, more than farming country. This is uh, Gurdon, I think it's called. There's Dollar General. So you're not too far from town. I wonder what the International Order Hoo Hoo is. Funeral home, Mexican grill, post office, bank, U.S. Bank churches there's the town dollar general and family dollar some schools so this property I mean, it's like a block away from town it's basically downtown in the local neighborhood south fourth street looks like you've got a shot to get in there I believe so here's the driveway I think that's the building. <laughs> this darn tree got right in the way. Okay, let's go back. So I think it's this building here. Let's zoom out and let's take a look at this a little closer. Okay, now I totally lost my spot. So East Jocelyn Street, 402 and a half. So the half is the one in the back. So it's the back of this lot. Let's go to the front first. I think it's the second one here. So it looks like it's the back half of this, this mobile home. So this would be the front. Somebody else owns that. Probably can't pass through their property to get to the property in the back. But you can see back there, there's something back there. So if you drive around the block, South 4th Street, looks like you can access it down the alley. Just right here. That's the best shot you get. I think this is someone else's property and back here. So it's like the, like a garage turned into a house. I'm not sure if it's this first building or the second building or both. They kind of look the same. I think it's both. So I think it's this unit here. You know, a house and a granny flat or whatever. First house, second house, add, add on addition. This picture was taken in July of 2013. A lot could have changed between now and then. Um... But if you want to go figure it out, if you're in the area and you're interested in buying assets like this, fixing them up, living in them, using them, running them out, whatever, um, this might be a good one for you. So let's zoom in on some other property maps, see where we're at. See the roof line in there. behind that second house off of 4th Street and uh, Joc East Jocelyn Street. So you go to that corner, go to the second one behind it. Or you could take the alley in the back. Behind that first one, get to the second one, that building there.
Now I'm hitting the wrong buttons. So this is green here, but you can see the building. It's this building there. And this is the driveway to the building. So you've got you can drive up to it and go see. Go see if that building's worth anything. See if it's something you can use. See if it's a house. I mean I'm asking three thousand bucks, but go figure it out. See if it's the right one for you. And if you like it, come back, hit the link below. It'll take you to my website and you can click buy it now and uh, buy it for three thousand bucks. I'll get it into your name. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith, RuralVacantLand.com.